What's up? I'm about to show you my pickups from the last, I guess it's been about two months now. Some records, some tapes that I've gotten. It hasn't been a really especially fruitful um, period of time. I don't, know, I don't know why, but this summer I haven't really seen much of anything on Craigslist or been able to find much of anything at record stores. I have found some, some nice things, but not with any kind of regularity, so... I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you records and tapes that I've gotten over the last two months, I guess it is. I'll just go ahead and get right into them. Uh, here's, uh, here's one I picked up on eBay. It's one I've been looking for for a little while. Um, found a pretty good deal on it. It's a uh, Black AG. Uh, fame goes to your head and no type of drug dealer on the B-side. Uh, some indie rap from uh, Chicago about 1992, I think. This fame goes to your head track is extremely dope. This uh, this 12 inch goes for a, a decent amount of money, so it's one of the reasons I've been holding off on it. I don't really like paying 40, 50 bucks for uh, for a 12 inch if I can help it. And um, I did I did get a pretty good deal on this on eBay about uh, a couple months ago. It's a really dope song. I think um, just got reissued. It might have been Chopped Herring. Uh, put out a Black AG like an EP. It didn't have this B side on it though. I'm not really sure why, but uh, definitely peep this. Fame goes to your head. This, uh, this next LP I found at a uh, local record store. It's uh, Juggernaut's re-release, which is basically the Clear Blue Skies album with um, a bunch of additional tracks. And as you can see, signed by um, Breeze Bruin, Queen Heroin, and uh, Buddy Slim. I think this must have been signed at um, a hip-hop show here in uh, about 99, here in um, Richmond. Um, they, they opened for uh, Hieroglyphics, and I was at that show. I didn't even know they were going to be at that show. And um, I like to think that's maybe got signed at the show. I'm not really sure, but um, found that at the local store. Like I said, I was pretty geeked about that. Uh, DJ Quick tonight. I already had this. I think I bought this new back when it came out, but this is a much nicer copy. Only a couple bucks uh, for that one. Uh, Black Alicious, uh, Deception with the LP remix. And uh, Cutmaster Kurt remix on it. I'm a pretty big um, fan of LP's production work. So um, this one is still sealed. This one I found at one of the local spots too. Didn't really know anything about these guys. It's public domain. Uh, it says it's a test press. It's got invocation, words and ideas, ignorant minds, and uh, then instrumentals on the B side. Just kind of took a chance on that. It's it's uh it's kind of cool. I put up two of the tracks on my uh, YouTube channel. I ripped them because I couldn't find any information about these guys like whatsoever. Um, probably like late 90s early 2000s kind of down tempo um, hip-hop check it out EPMD big payback this is one of those I, I pick up almost on the strength of the of the cover real nice copy of this I try to get all the EPMD stuff if I don't have it which I didn't have this one yet almighty mighty pythons the amp curb your nerve and contact this is actually as you can see some cats from uh, uh, hieroglyphics and uh, Far side, it's pretty cool. Aesop Rock, Labor Days. Found this sealed copy. It's a little bit, it's a little bit, a little bit creased up. Not too bad. Um, I found this sealed copy for like ten bucks at the local store, and um, had to grab that because I didn't have it yet. I got this one at the same time. It's a Ghostface Killer, Fish Scale. This is probably, probably one of my top, probably one of my top three Ghostface albums. Mostly just on the strength of the production. Um, MF Doom, Alchemist, etc. It's got some real nice, real nice songs on here. Their scale, double LP. Uh, I grabbed this one off eBay for a pretty good price. I really like all the DITC materials, Showbiz and AG, Lord Finesse, uh, Diamond, all those guys, Big O. And I didn't have this one on vinyl yet. No, it's a double LP. It's got some really strong tracks on it. Uh, I think my favorite one is. Uh, Actually, I like I like the A side with uh, you know now. Check it out. Of course, it's got that uh, next level remix by DJ Premier. Probably their second second best album. I really like the uh, Runaway Slave LP the most, but that's definitely quality material. I uh, got this one too. It's K Def looking for the perfect break volume two. It's a lot of kind of rare breaks that um, K Def mixes on a, on a full length LP. Pretty nice. I grabbed this one off eBay for a pretty good price too. It's uh, E Rule Listen Up with uh, Synopsis on the B side. The Listen Up is um, is pretty much a, an underground staple.
from the 90s. It's got that um, Everybody Loves the Sunshine sample. I think this was in the movie Kids, too, but it's definitely a fly track. This dude was actually from the West Coast, I think, but he's definitely got more of that uh, East Coast vibe, that boom bap vibe. Here's another one I picked up off eBay that I've been uh, kind of looking for on the low, and, and uh, the price this one went for, I couldn't turn it down. It's a Scientific, the most blunted LP. It's, um, I guess it was, it was basically unreleased. Scientific was from uh, Boston, and he was down with Ed OG. He was down with, um, I'm trying to think. I guess he was mostly, you know, part of Ed OG's camp. He's got some really nice production work on it, and um, there's some a little bit of controversy about whether these beats were redone after the fact. But I think this was actually um, recorded in '92, and a couple of the samples on here. Some people are saying it's the first time they've been used. Um, this track. Uh, I think it's um, I Used to Know You uses the sample from uh, Memory Lane by Nas. Um, I'm not really sure if this is the original, original beats on this or not, but um, I believe one of the dudes from Vinyl Reanimators was responsible for the, for the production. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but it's, it stands up. It's pretty good. It's really pretty good. Um, I like it better than Criminal, which is his other kind of unreleased LP which has kind of a more star-studded production cast, but I think Most Blunted is a little bit uh, a little bit better. Let me pause this for a second. Uh, my bad. Uh, this is the other this is the other 12 inch I found. It's Show and AG, you know now, with the um, Buckwild remix on the B side. This one's actually pretty rare. I guess it was promo only. And uh, you know now is probably, like I was saying, it's probably my favorite uh, cut on the show on the uh, Show and AG Goodfellas album. So this was pretty sweet to find man I've, I've been looking I guess it goes for 30 or 40 bucks which I mean it's kind of irrelevant but um, this is one of those that um, I paid like two or three bucks for and I was just ecstatic to find it I'm not trying to resell most of this stuff but some of these records you know I wouldn't buy this for 40 bucks but man finding it for three bucks is I mean, great uh, the rest of these are gonna be I'm gonna show you some cassettes I've been picking up like I said um, I haven't found a lot of records lately and when I go looking for music if I don't see much on vinyl, a lot of times I'll, I'll go trying to find um, anything I can find on cassette or CD. I'm not going to show you the CDs I picked up, but I'm going to show you the tapes I grabbed. Since these are a little bit harder to find these days. Um, Juice Crew Story on Cold Chillin'. It's a lot of the um, the best uh, Juice Crew cuts. Big Daddy Kane, Biz Marquis, Master Ace, all that kind of stuff. Um, I did grab this one on eBay. It's a WC in the Mad Circle. Ain't a Damn Thing Changed classic classic album probably one of my favorite west coast albums ever this is this is definitely heat right here man I, this is one of my favorite albums from when i was a kid and i didn't have any physical copies of it anymore but incredible album not super gangster like some of wc's um newer stuff but it's it's still pretty hard but it's crazy crazy good i really like a lot of the turntable and uh, uh mixing type of work on there too um Far Side, Bizarre Ride to the Far Side. Pick this one up at a flea market for like a quarter. Red Man, Dare is a Dark Side. Probably my favorite Red Man album. And I think there's a clear red and a solid red version. This is the clear red one. Nice to find that. Jay Z, Reasonable Doubt. Snoop, Doggy Style. Cool G Rap, 456. Mad Skills from where? <laughs> Richmond VA represent Mad Skills, Outcast, Southern Playlist, the Cadillac Music, EPMD, um, Business Never Personal, uh, Tribe Called Quest, People's Instinctive uh, pa Travels in the Passive Rhythm, De La Soul, Stakes Is High, Sedat X, <laughs> just throwing my tapes around, uh, Wild Cowboys, Footmaster Flex, the mixtape. Volume 1, this one actually is the tape. It's kind of funny getting the mixtape on uh, vinyl and CD, which I also have, but that's the actual tape, mixtape. Uh, DFC, Things in the Hood. Pause this for a sec. So yeah, DFC, Things in the Hood. Easy e Easy Does It. Big L, Lifestyles of the Poor and Dangerous. Legendary album, of course. Grave Diggers, Six Feet Deep. Bush Babies, Gravity. Oh yeah, grab this one too. I found this in a shoebox full of uh, tapes at a flea market, and most of the stuff was kind of mainstream R&B, New Jack Swing, some some hip hop tapes. 
this was in here. I have no idea why, but it's uh, SNOP, uh, Poor and Starving. Looks like these dudes are from uh, Oakland area. Uh, kind of some, kind of some gangster shit. This is a, actually a pretty rare tape. It looks like. I have no idea why this was in that that shoebox of tapes, uh, but uh, I was kind of glad to find it. Something different I hadn't seen before. I think '92. I think it's from '92. A couple singles I found: Mark Morrison, Return of the Mac, and uh, Redman, Funkorama. These last four, to give a shout out to my boy uh, Frank, he gave me these, and I'm always, I'm always happy to to um, have stuff given to me, but. Lately, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy to find tapes, so he, he just told me I could have these. Uh, Apache, full length on uh, Tommy Boy. Yo Mon Maki, are you experienced on Ruthless? I actually really, really used to like this album when it first came out. And uh, it was produced by Yella from NWA. Pretty strong, actually. These guys were pretty political for being on uh, Ruthless, but um, kind of nice. Kind of nice to have that. Casual, Fear Itself, classic uh, hieroglyphics album. Casual's first, probably best album. And this one's this one is cool. I've actually got a copy of this already, but it's not that common. It's Akinelli, Vagina Diner. The whole thing was produced by a large professor, as some of you may know. So glad to add that uh, another copy of that in my collection. Um, also picked up. Can't really see it behind me, but I got a old uh, actually right here at the old Task Game uh, 464, and um, they've been playing around with that. It's been pretty pretty fun messing with that. It's a little four track Porta Studio. So, anyway, that's um, pretty much the update for everything I've picked up since my last video. Nothing too impressive. Um, it's probably some kind of more common stuff I haven't I haven't put in this video, but it's more interesting stuff anyway. Probably be putting up another video, maybe showing some of my favorite stuff, maybe some LPs or something like that soon, since my pickups are pretty much slacking lately. But um, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Peace.